The gateway to the Ring of Kerry is Killarney National Park. Most people suggest leaving town heading east to avoid the tour buses going west, and that's what we did. If you go that way, the first stop of note is Ross Castle. I couldn't have imagined a more fairy tale setting than this 15th century tower house nestled on the shores of La Flien. Surrounded by thick woods and grazing deer on three sides, it was built by the O'Donohue clan back in the 1400s as a seat of power in the region. Back in the 15th century, this was a really difficult and remote area for the crown to control. Each of the different clans in this region would control their small fiefdom with these single tower defensive battlements. And Ross Castle is a really great representation of that architecture. Tower houses were built mainly as defensive fortresses, and legend holds that this particular castle was made by God himself, unconquerable from the water. That's why Oliver Cromwell's roundheads made sure their successful attack in 1648 was launched from a ship on La Fliene. Seems like they wanted to make a point. 4,000 ground troops were held off by this very cannon until their heavy artillery arrived on the ships. But Ross wasn't just built for war. It was also the home of the chieftain and his family. Each floor served a different function. There were kitchens, work floors, dining halls, and at the top, the great room to entertain guests, complete with fire-resistant stone floors in case of invasion. Now that's a quality man cave. It's said that O'Donohue himself, in a fit of rage, leapt from a window in this room and landed here in the loft. They say he sleeps at the bottom, only emerging from his slumber every seven years at sunrise on May 15th, when he rises from the water on the back of his horse carrying his sword. But of course they don't say which seventh year. We spent about 45 minutes exploring the exterior architecture and grounds, soaking in the beautiful views and the atmosphere. The Ring of Kerry is an all-day experience with countless places to stop, and you must choose wisely. This essential first stop sets the mood perfectly. I guess the rules of real estate were the same in the 14th century. Location, location, location. 